Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to speed up the internet connection on your iPhone and iPad, whether that be cellular or Wi-Fi. If you're experiencing issues and you think your internet speed is slower than it should be, then there are a few things that you can do in order to fix that and make sure that you have the fastest possible internet connection on your iPhone or iPad. All right, we're starting things off first of all with Wi-Fi and then we will move to cellular data. So first of all, the first thing you will need to do is head on to your Wi-Fi network. Of course, you go to settings, Wi-Fi, you tap the little I button at your Wi-Fi network. And from here, what you need to do, first of all, make sure that you have this disabled. Now, this is a feature called low data mode. This was first introduced to cellular data and then Apple also included it on the Wi-Fi settings. So what this does is that it will just help the iPhone reduce the amount of data that it uses. That way, of course, it will impact also the speed of your internet connection. So make sure you have this turned off. The second thing you can do is try to reconnect to that Wi-Fi network, especially if this is happening on a network that you connect usually maybe every day, maybe at your home or at your work or anywhere. Make sure that you do that and the best way to do it is by simply forgetting that network and reconnecting to that network from the beginning. So you tap right here and forget this network and then you will have to reconnect to the network. Just make sure that you know the password of that network because if you don't, then you won't be able to actually connect because it will ask you of course for your passcode but again you can simply tap right there and authenticate and you can view the password of your network then forget it and of course reconnect to that network the next thing you can do is change the dns servers now this is maybe a more advanced step if you don't want to do it it's fine but if you think that might be the problem you can actually change the dns servers on your iphone now usually by default on iphones that would be configured automatically so you go down here and you will have configured DNS. When you go here, it will be on automatic. That's what every iPhone will have, but you can actually add your own DNS servers, not your own, but you can actually add them manually. And you can add DNS servers from Google, which are public. And of course you can even add ones from Cloudflare or open DNS. And you can do that and try them out and see if it will have an impact on your iPhone's Wi-Fi performance. Now to add these, all you have to do is tap on manual, tap the plus button right here to add a server and just add the IP address. Now for Google, Google actually has two. It will be 8.8.8.8. .8 .8, so four eights and it has another one that's 8.8.4.4. For Cloudflare, you can have all for one so it will be 1.1.1.1 those are the dns servers that you can add manually and change of course the dns server of your iphone that way it might have an impact on the speed of your wi-fi check that out and of course try to test maybe with speedtest.net and see which in which dns configuration your iphone will perform the best but that will be with the manual one by the new service from Google or Cloudflare or just choosing automatic and see if that's the problem. Now, another thing that will actually have a huge impact on the network's performance is using VPNs. If you're using a VPN, just know that your Wi-Fi and your cellular connection will be slower. The internet on your device, whether that be Wi-Fi or whether that be cellular, will always be slower when you're connected to a VPN service. Of course, all of them will say that it has great speed. Some do, but not as great as without a VPN. So you can actually go to settings general and go to VPN device management. And if it says connected here, or you see it at the top of your settings page, then go ahead and disconnect. That way you will have a much faster internet connection on your device. Now, another thing you can do is of course an obvious one, try to reboot your iPhone and see if that will fix the problem. You can reboot simply by going to settings, general, and then tap on shutdown right here and reboot your device, or you can just ask Siri to reboot your iPhone and you're good to go. Now, if nothing works and you think there's a bigger problem with the network on your device, you can actually reset all of the settings of your networks to their default. Now, I suggest this we being the last step when you don't have any other solution. You can actually go to settings, go to general, and then go right here to transfer or reset iPhone. 
and if you tap on reset then you will have here the option to reset the network settings you don't have to reset all the settings just choose a reset network settings and everything will be reset to their default just keep in mind that if you have any configuration for your seller data or anything everything will be actually removed and be just the default settings that ios has once you have your iphone as new that's what you will get so all the settings will reset to their default moving on and now talking about seller data now of course when it comes to seller data most of the times seller will be slower than wi-fi but if you have 5g of course it might be as good or even better than wi-fi depending on what wi-fi connection you have but most of the time in most of the places of course seller is worse than wi-fi and of course it also consume consumes way more battery so there are a few things that you need to make sure that you have in place when using seller data that way you will get the best network performance first of all a very simple one head on to settings general and go to background app refresh now all of these apps can be work be working on the background using your battery cpu and seller data as well now if you have apps using seller data in the background that will have a huge impact on the speed of the network when you're trying to do something else so let's say you're trying to watch something or read something or just browsing the internet you have other apps using your seller data in the background that's a huge problem so take a look at these apps right here and maybe turn off most of them that you don't need or if you go here you can choose off or wi-fi which means that when you're on wi-fi it will turn on background app refresh but when you're on seller data it will actually just turn off background app refresh for all of your apps now with seller data you will also have an awesome option here to turn off seller data for certain apps so you don't have to worry about getting notifications or those apps using your internet connection in the background so you head on to your settings you go to seller and right here you will have all the apps that can use your seller data now all you have to do here is take a look at these apps see which apps you don't want to actually allow to use your seller data and of course go ahead and turn them off from here and once you have done that you now have made sure that these apps won't actually use any kilobytes of your seller data when it comes to seller we also have the same option right here as the wi-fi networks low data mode so you can find that by going to seller at the top of your settings app then go to seller data options you will have here low data mode which again will reduce the amount of data that your iphone uses of course that will save your data but will load everything slower so make sure you have this turned off especially if you have an unlimited plan of data make sure how you have this always turned off that way that way you will actually get the best data performance on your iphone another thing i would suggest you do is that you turn off automatic downloads and updates especially for apps head on to the app store settings and make sure that you have turned off automatic downloads so we'll have app downloads and also app updates in app content all of these will automatically be downloaded to your device what you can do here is leave these on if you just want to have that option while connected to the wi-fi network but you will also have here a section for your seller data so you turn that off which means that those downloads will be stopped on seller data but of course once you're connected to your wi-fi you can get all of your apps and updates installed on your iphone and last but not least the last two things you can do is turn on and off the airplane mode on your device that way your device will completely disconnect from your its seller and then reconnect again that might have an impact on the performance of the seller data and of course always make sure that you have your device updated general software update make sure that you always have your device updated to the latest version because a lot of times when apple actually releases new updates there will be also updates for the carrier so once you have updated your device you just head on to settings go to the about section and if you have a carrier update you will get that there and that might also have maybe fixes or an impact on the seller data performance of your iphone and ipad so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one